Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is Patricia Neely here. And um, hope everyone had a good day. Today was a beautiful, beautiful day. I think it was about 64 degrees today. So um, very happy about that. Um, that is just the type of weather that I love. So very happy, put you in a good mood. Um, Besides everything else you got to deal with, today was a pretty hectic day, but all is good. You don't, I can't let anything get in my way. I'm not that type of person. I kind of overcome everything and uh, kind of pushes me, push, pushes me harder um, to work harder and to, um, you know, um, have people turn their heads and know that, you know, you have it together and you bypass them. But it's either here or there. So um, I hope everyone had a good day. Uh, today's topic is uh, four ways to overcome your fear and self-doubt. So, I mean, this topic is, can come at a better time. Um, so what happens is when we try to accomplish certain things, you know, we get these negative thoughts in our head, oh, it's going to take too long, oh, I can't do this, oh, it's so much work, um, you know, what, what, how is, what's the outcome going to be, and you can't think about that, you can't worry about that, um, there's times that you're not going to get help from assistance from, you know, people that should be assisting you, but it's fine, because again, you know, you're an overcomer, and now that's the type of person I am, and you have to push forward and you anyone can do anything that they put their mind to there's nothing impossible for anyone to do so i just want to encourage everyone that if there's something that you're trying to accomplish and you know you're feeling like i don't know if i could do this you see other people doing it and you don't see how you can overcome it there's a way People are not, people don't like to share the way that they're using because they feel that you're, you're a threat to them. But again, there is a way and all you have to do is do your research and believe it or not, there are some people that are willing to help you. So um, don't let that get in your way. Keep pushing forward, keep your head up and keep moving. Um, the first um way to overcome fear and self-doubt is take no excuse approach although some may call them reasons people stop themselves all the time by using excuses so cut the excuses there's no excuse get it together push forward and don't let anything stop you or anyone or anything anyone says stop you keep it going keep going stay focused that's all it is to it so Second one is feel the fear, but do it anyway. The ego creates fear to keep you small. So put your ego in your pocket, put it away. Um, again, you're going to feel fear, but you know what? Push through it. Push through because you could do it. Anyone could do anything that they put their mind to. And I always recite that, that actual saying to me to myself every time I feel like I can't do this, I can't do this, I re recite things to yourself. You have to speak things into existence because that's the only way to go. Um, the third one is be willing to stretch beyond your comfort zone. Most people avoid discomfort like the plague. So you got to be uncomfortable. So I've been put in several situations that I've been uncomfortable in. And I'm a very nice person and I'm very easy to get along with. I don't bother anybody. I just do what I gotta do and I work my butt off. So again, sometimes that's a threat to people because they see that you know what you're doing. They see you have the knowledge and then they see that, you know, you can over, over, go over what they're doing so again you could be a threat to people and i've noticed and it's not anything it's not a cocky attitude that i i don't have a cocky attitude because i'm very humble uh, when it comes to a lot i don't 
ever forget where I came from and where I'm at now. Um, I just know that um, I know I do my research and I know how to do things and I know how to do things the easier way versus doing it. I mean, I kind of call it old school way, because, but again, you know, technology allows you to do things differently. Um, and I do a lot of research so that I can do things differently and save me time. So that's just me personally. And um, that's just kind of the way I operate. Um, I'm going to figure it out. It's, it might take me an hour, three hours, four hours, but I'm going to get to the bottom of how to do something. And it's either with someone giving you the assistance of showing when you how to do it or you're going to figure it out yourself and then you know um shock people because you know this is stuff that they you should have been shown but you weren't shown how to do that so in my mind that pushes you you got to have something that pushes you harder and in my mind when people doubt you and people always act like you know you have to um that they only have the answers to things and you have to kind of like bend over backwards to bow down to them. Um, I only bow down to God. I don't bow down to anyone else. Um, so this is where people need to understand that, you know, there's people out here that are pretty smart. They do their homework. They spend the time, whether it's up late at night, you know, early morning, they're doing their do due diligence to find out answers. So again, nothing's impossible. What someone else is doing, they're just not sharing how they're fully doing it. They're sharing you bits and pieces because again, they don't want someone to take their spot. I get it. Um, but you still have to get beyond everything and continue forward. And again, no one's going to ever give you anything, so you got to work your butt off. No one's ever going to lend you a helping hand. Now, me, me personally, and it's not patting myself on the back, but I would lend a helping hand because that's just me. I always put myself last, and I'm always helping others. And may, people may say that's, you know, that's not the way they would do it, and I, you know, everyone's entitled to what they want to do. But I personally think that's the way you should do it because that's why so much good has come t towards my way because that's how I am. I'm going to help you. You know, you need, everyone needs guidance at some a certain point and then you let them go and, and, and flourish. But neither, he, neither here or there. Um, the last one is take decisive actions. So. That means don't talk about it, be about it. Do Go out, do what you got to do, get things done. Don't worry about what people are going to say, how long it's going to take. You're not doing it the way that they want you want them, they want you to do. Um, forget about it. Forget about what they're saying. I don't, personally, I don't listen to what people say about anything of how I'm doing something or in their opinions, what I should be doing it this way. Um, because again, you have to, you live your life. You live once and I never want to be the person to live in regret. So I personally say, if I want to do this, I'm going to do it. And if anybody could tell you is, you know, my husband will say like, he'll, you know, if I set my mind to something and I want to get it done, um, and that's what I want to do, I'm going to do it because that's, I'm a very determined person and I don't give up. Like I just keep going. I keep going until I, until I get to the point that I see the results I want to see. So I'm very driven that way. So you have to set that fire under you and you have to get going and do what you got to do. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you want to um, see, see any other new posts, um, go on my blog, patricianilly.com, and enter your name and email address, and you can stay connected and updated with any new blog posts I put up. 
And if you have any questions, needs, you know, need some encouragement, um, want to talk, you can uh, comment below here or send me a private message. But I hope this was helpful to you and um, I hope you have a good day. Good evening. Take care. Bye.